Hello Lola's. So welcome back to my window. As you guys peek in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and make sure that you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you guys want to join my exclusive live streams, you can do so by clicking the link in the description bar up under the chatter box. That is for a paid membership. It is $1.99 and you do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. Also, I do have merch. So, without further ado, you guys know I've been working on Willow Asleep by Claire Tellen. And I've been painting and matting and all that great jazz. So now it is time for you guys to meet him as he's finally done. Um, he is the third silicone baby that I have painted. I am going to try not to get in the light too much. Um, he has been rooted. Um, and so I just wanted to show him. And he might be a little, I think he should be dry, but he just got rinsed off from his final mat. But those are his little piggies. He doesn't have on a diaper. I'm going to put his diaper on. I don't know why I didn't do that first. But those are his little legs. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I have the window open so that we can have lots of natural light. Um, his mommy wanted him to be a very um, light biracial baby. There's his little feet. And sometimes it helps when you can see my hand up against him to see his coloring. Um, and then here's his little hand. <laughs> He's hiding. You're hiding. So um, he does have tip nails. And so, and I am going to... Well, look like he has his little. Well, just show yourself. All right. So me. There we go. So there we go, everybody. Hey, aunties. <laughs> hey, aunties. He's he's a sleeper. So, let me see. Let me. I don't know. Let me see if I can turn him a little bit this way so you guys can see a little bit of his um more of his face and I will be posting plenty of pictures trust me which is why I'm not gonna really put him on close clothes I know I'm probably gonna block the light a little bit but I need to get his diaper on in order to further share him with you guys um I'm realizing he might need a a better rinse. I was trying not to rinse him completely, but sometimes with that matting powder, you have to make sure you get it all rinsed off really, really good. Or it leaves like a residue, I think, or something. I don't know. But I'm just so cautious with everything. Look, I'm sorry. So now he has on his diaper, he can be shown a little bit more. Let me see what you guys can see, and then I will turn him. Yeah, let me turn him so you guys can see him a little bit more. <laughs> so that is him. I almost called him by his real name, <laughs> but um. So, see, I am Noah's favorite cousin. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, so that, <laughs> that is him. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see him a little bit up close. That is him up close. And he has, like I said, a head full of very baby fine, soft, curly hair. So his mommy didn't want him to have braids and long pigtails hanging down his shoulders but you know some nice curls and I thought 
you know, give him a little bush, you know, similar to um, to Noah, but not not the same. Of course, it can't be the same because everybody roots differently. But <laughs> isn't he amazing? Oh, whoa, whoa. I just love him so much, guys. I'm so excited about him and him meeting his mommy. I'm gonna flip him over on his back. So you guys can see him. <laughs> He's like, don't you think about it. So I've already glossed, you know, the, the um his lips and the inside of his mouth and his nails. I think the last time we did a video, he hadn't had all that done. But oh, let me zoom out. But he has it all done now. So um, so I went back and, and got as many of his shine spots as I could. If he has one, you know, it, it's you know, it's an oversight, but he is all good to go and he'll be traveling to his mommy. <laughs> and auntie's gonna be so sad because he's gonna be leaving. Oh my god. It is just I think this is going to be the hardest baby to let go. Is he was never mine to begin with. My friend keep reminding me of that. She's like, it's not your baby. I'm like, I know, I know. But he is just so sweet. So I got his little goodies to go. Um, and I'm going to pick up him a few more things to, or pick up him something today just to give. And normally, if I was doing a painting service, a silicone painting service, I would just do a painting fee and just paint and send the baby back. Or a painting and send it for rooting. Hopefully, one day I can root myself. Um, versus, um, you know, box opening style. Because I see that's the trend. Most people that paint silicone and do painting services, they don't really do box openings. They just paint and send the baby off. So, but because um, him and Nima is the first babies that I'm actually sending off and people trusting my work, um, then, you know, even more so um, with this baby because this baby was completely a custom and I don't even do customs with reborns, much less silicone. So it was a big to do. So I hope everybody understand. And I don't want people to feel like I'm showing one baby more attention than the other. But um, definitely you can understand the difference here. This was a custom for me to do. And it was the third baby. And it's, you know, it's a, you know, it's just it was just a, a different experience. And I do have to say, once the mommy reveals um him to everyone i will come back and announce the mommies to the two babies that's going out um but i'm just gonna say in general um i have had some of the best customers ever to work with recently and even you know with the even though i did like semi-private orders um uh, with my reborns um they have been really good but i really really enjoyed working with um Oh my God, I almost called him his name again. I really enjoyed working with um, his mommy and um, I hope that she loves him even more so when he gets home. Um, and um, he has, well, I guess she'll discover little things about this little boy when she gets him home. But, um, I didn't want to overdo things with him because, you know, I, don't, I didn't want to mess up someone's baby, but I, I think he came out really good. I am really excited about him. So anyway, guys, I don't want to keep going on and on about the same thing. Oh, I was going to put him on a, I was going to put him on a, a shirt, a, a onesie, a t uh, t snaps. <laughs> I just got so nervous, I guess. I don't know, excited or I'm nervous, excited. And it's like, he just looks so cute laying right here. But when, you know, I don't want to do too much. Like I haven't given him 
of, you know, really putting pacifiers in his mouth and stuff like that because, you know, that's for the mommy. This, this, I, I am just providing a painting service. And um, although, you know, I know she trusts me with her baby, I just, I don't know, this, this, this feels like it's going to be a little tight. I'm not going to do it. Um, so yeah, so he has, um, he has elbow armatures and everything. So now I'm like, uh, see, I like to hold my hands and yeah, so he is going to be one sweet little poor Bubba, 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 Bubba. Like, let me see how cute he'd be with getting a bottle. You want Papa? Yeah. So, that is... Oh. Auntie, I have to give you your bottle because your mommy can't have you going home hungry. She would be so upset with me, won't she? If you come there not fed, she'll say, why didn't Auntie feed that baby? Yeah. Why didn't Auntie feed that baby? Oh. I can't wait. So, um, he's, I'm going to go. And I just, like I said, I just wanted to show him to you guys again. And all him little curls swirls of curls and whirls and twirls and so his mommy could get to see him on video and now he gets to go get all his wonderful pictures so guys if you're not following me on instagram and facebook follow me there um instagram would probably be the best place because my facebook sometimes get full and i haven't been going back trying to accept people um on there as much but um my Instagram is the same name as here. It's Miss Randy Smith. So if you want to follow me there, you will check out plenty pictures of him within the next um, few hours. He should be all good to go. So thanks guys again for watching and congrats again to his mommy. And thank you again so much for the opportunity of letting me um, paint this, this very exquisite kit. Again, he is the willow. Asleep by Claire Teller, as you guys know. Yes, I gotta go ahead and say this. She just announced that she has Willow awake, and you guys know I need a girl. I know, I know. And I told you guys this before that I needed at least one girl, so I think I'm I'm definitely wanting to paint an awake. Um I'm definitely excited about trying to get awake to paint. Um so I'm excited about that. Um, I know the prototypes will be amazing and I would love to have one of those, but I think for me, it'll just be more feasible for me to paint. But I do think that the, um, if, I, if, if I could, I sure would. <laughs> so um, it's exciting. So anyway, guys, I don't wanna take away from his video. Um, zoom in a little bit again in hopes that you guys can see. And, oh, did you show your little belly button? Hey, there it is. Do your belly button. I was looking to see. But yeah, there's his little belly button. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.